A good story doesn't have to be true to be a good story. We're here at the Ezekiel Harris House. The Harrisburg neighborhood around us gets its name from this house. It's one of the oldest houses in Augusta. But for much of the 1900s, Augustans didn't call this the Ezekiel Harris House. They called it the Mackey House or the Old White House. And it supposedly was the scene of one of the worst atrocities of the American Revolution. Most of you know the story. A vengeful British commander, Thomas Brown, used the house as a base in his battle for Augusta. After initially driving off colonial forces, a wounded Brown rounded up his patriot captives and supposedly hung 13 of them, one for each rebellious colony. As if that weren't mean enough, he turned the other captured prisoners over to his Indian allies for torture. In 1946, the Richmond County Historical Society purchased this house, hoping to save it for posterity. But eventually, posterity found out the truth, and I'll tell you about that when we get back. Today, it's unclear exactly how they got the story wrong. In 1905, the Augusta Chronicle had a story complaining that people were beginning to call the Harris House the Mackey House or the White House. Unfortunately, the original Mackey House, the real one, was probably destroyed during the American Revolution and the many battles and skirmishes around Augusta. Witnesses at the time remembered the Mackey trading post was 80 yards from the Savannah River. The Harris House, much farther from the river, was clapboard and experts discovered it was originally painted blue. For whatever reason, we ignored those old witness accounts. In the mid-1970s, just before the American Bicentennial, experts were called in to try to determine the true age of the house. They found out that this house, even though it's very old, did not exist during the American Revolution. It was probably built about 20 years afterwards. Many Augustans didn't like that and held with their traditions, but eventually the truth won out. But the truth also tells us that sometimes a good story doesn't have to be true to be a good story. For more of Kirby's Augusta, subscribe to us on YouTube or check us out on AugustaChronicle.com. Thank you.